Welcome to video 167 in series 3 and now I'll write the NPC collision field script. Okay, make a new C sharp script and call it NPC underscore collision field. Alright, so I've got a bunch of variables to put in. Number one, let's start from the beginning and private NPC master, NPC master, private rigid body, rigid body striking me, private int, damage to apply, public float, mass requirement, default value equal to 50, that's what I put there, public float, speed requirement is equal to 5, private float, damage factor is equal to 0.1f. There's no start and update here, so I'll just get rid of those. Inside of set initial references, I have here npc master is equal to transform.root.getComponent npc master. Of course, it has to have root because the collision field game object is quite separate to the parent itself. Well, it's one of the child objects. Okay, I have another method here, which is void disable this game object dot set active false. So when the NPC dies, that's what's going to happen. The game object will be deactivated. Okay, so now I want to put in the unity method uh, here, void on trigger enter collider other, so you know this one quite well. Uh, if other dot get component rigid body is not equal to null, rigid body striking me equal other dot get component rigid body. If rigid body striking me dot mass is greater than or equal to the mass requirement, so mass requirement, and rigid body striking me dot velocity dot square magnitude greater than or equal to speed requirement times speed requirement, then, so this is just checking that the whatever object is contacting our collision field game object on our NPC, it has enough mass to be significant, and it is moving fast enough to be significant. I use square magnitude, velocity dot square magnitude, uh, because it's a bit faster of an operation than using a speed uh, using the magnitude, getting Unity to calculate the magnitude of the speed. So this is something they recommend as uh, saving on performance. Anyway, continuing on inside of this if block, damage to apply, it's of the type int, so put in there, so it's int brackets int, rigid body striking me dot mass times rigid body striking me dot velocity dot magnitude times damage factor. So this is just my way of uh, calculating some amount of damage to apply. It's rather arbitrary. I just made it up so you could do anything you felt like yourself. Uh, NPC master dot call event NPC deduct health damage to apply. Okay, so finally in on enable call set initial references and then npc master dot event npc die plus equal disable this. And of course we must have the corresponding unsubscribe in on disable. So npc master dot event npc die minus equal disable this. Uh, so that is it. Very nice and simple. Let's go to Unity now. I've saved that. Uh, jump in. Go to the collision field game object. So just have a look there. Those are whatever was there before. Get rid of the enemy collision field. And now put in the NPC collision field. And there we go. It's uh, ready for use. So we should be able to try it out. Let's hit play. And I'll pick up some stuff. Okay, these throwing blocks. Oops. That was my test key. So I hit, uh, I forget which letter it was. One of my letters will uh, test game over. It's in the uh, game manager scripts. So let me jump back here. Okay. Now let me throw this block. Oops, there you go. So he, the NPC got killed. Of course, we need the uh, ragdoll activation. That was rather unsatisfying seeing the enemy just freeze there. But uh, that's it. So it is actually working. And I can show you as well. Just have a look at the uh, health value as well. So there we go. It's 100. So if I take the throwing block and throw it. Okay. So what happened? Uh, his health fell to one. So he's almost dead, actually, and he's actually running away. So the NPC is fleeing, which is very good. And of course, if I throw that again, and there you go, the NPC's health has fallen to zero. And uh, various stuff has happened. You can see his state pattern turned off. The nav mesh agent and animator have all turned off. The collision field game object, which has the script attached, has caused the collision field to be disabled. Very good. 
the hitbox has lost all of its stuff and the layers just changed to default so it's not going to be detected by shooting at this uh, golem so that's very good as well so uh, basically everything that we want to happen is happening and uh, we still got more work to do so we have to uh, make a new script for the ragdoll activation anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video